Back in action, we're back in the action, boys. Hey, bro, real quick, if you guys want to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below. Your support on that has been killer lately, so thank you guys so much. It helps our videos get shared, which means I entertain more people. My goal in life is being made when you do that, so thank you guys. Sick. Also, let me know down below your favorite pieces in this whole collection video once I show it. That just secures that you guys are going to actually watch. Strategy. Also, man, this video is brought to you by the good people over at rosegoldenblack.com. If you guys have seen the videos, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it anyway. So just sit tight for a second. As you guys may or may not know, these guys sell the really like low-key jewelry that a lot of people want. It's actually becoming a lot more regular nowadays when I see people just wearing like actual items of jewelry that don't really need to cost a lot of money. For example, you guys always see me wearing this. They sell a lot of bracelets like this one. I just think it looks dope with black and gray tattoos. You know, it tightens this stuff, but I keep it loose because I just like to do this. Also, man, real cool watches, stuff that'll just really add to any outfit. Sometimes with my diamond jewelry, it looks way too flashy. I don't want to go to a wedding with diamond jewelry on I look like an ASS. You know what I mean? Sometimes this stuff really does the trick. Rings on there, watches, necklaces, duh, bracelets, da da da, all at rosegoldenblack.com. Now we actually have a real cool announcement. This is actually a real change up from what they usually have that they're offering you guys. So Rose Golden Black's July sale is ending in a couple days, so you guys want to act fast. You guys can get 25% off your order while using the link down below. And also, at your purchase, while using the link down below, if you decide to purchase, you get an additional 15% off if you use the code MISS. Now something new that they're actually introducing right now, which I think is a really cool idea They're, they're introducing mystery boxes where you get two items monthly in the mail from rosegoldenblack.com They're obviously items of mystery. You don't know what you're getting, but the cool part is it's also things they don't offer on their website So it's like I don't know you're getting the cool kid club with that one Anyway, rosegoldenblack.com link is down below go show them love It makes me look good and we obviously respect their brand too. So get sick All right, so as you guys can tell we got a jewelry uh, the collection video it's easy to remember brand come on now uh, we did one of these a little while ago, but my collection has only doubled since then. I personally love collection videos. It's kind of what I watch on YouTube. I'm a collector myself, and I've seen a lot of you guys commenting for an updated one. So here it is. Uh, I had it on my list for a little while. Just did like 15 miles on the bike. So I just feel like a chill video for today, boys. Hopefully you guys dig it. Let me know your favorite piece down below. And uh, how I will not start this jewelry collection video is how everyone starts their collection video. It's like, hey guys, just so you know, I'm not bragging when I say, shut up, put. Yeah, I just want to see your freaking collection. <laughs> I just got a kick out of it. Everyone's like, I'm not bragging. Just like, no, the da 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 da. Like, hopefully, people know you're not bragging. Anyway, here we go. I don't keep my jewelry in this ever. Uh, I actually had like a bocce ball set in this thing. I just dumped them out on the floor this morning. My girlfriend was not impressed about that. Those things are a lot heavier than you'd think. And I put all my stuff in here. So, getting into it, man, I guess I'm just gonna. I was thinking about it. Let's just start from the order I got them in. You know what I mean? I've had a lot of stuff that I've lost over the years, but the order uh, from what I have that I got them in, that's what we're doing. Jewelry collection starts now. I lost a website that gives me cool music. I can't remember what it is, so I'll just put in our own little theme tune. Alright, so these first two pieces, I'm gonna be mad shaky, by the way, boys. I got a copy here. I've had about three. It makes me shaky. Don't know why I do it before every video, but we do it. <laughs> uh, first ones, these aren't part of my setup whatsoever because they are quite special to me, but I thought I'd show them anyway because they are jewelry. The first one here is just like a white gold, yellow gold wedding band. This was actually my parents' wedding band before my dad passed away, so I made sure to get this because, you know, it means something even though they were divorced. <laughs> Might not be the best omen to have in my possession but uh, something that I really wanted to keep because uh, my dad always kept his mom's wedding band. She also passed away, gave it to him, and when he passed away, I got it. So there's another one right there, just there's small little gold with little diamonds in it. Wedding band, those go on my like safe though. I don't ever bring those out. Next up, man, this is funny because my next one was actually my first custom piece ever and I've lost the chain to it, but this one right here is name brand in like some weird font, bro. I don't dig it. It was cool at the time. I should have cleaned it, damn it. I had one job last night to clean all my jewelry for this video. Anyway, shines up real nice. Forgot to do that, but it says name brand. Uh, yeah, I don't wear it anymore. I got it gifted to me though. It was very, very nice. It's like a Nice chunk of silver too, but you know, it's just uh, it's not really my style as of right now. Name brand piece in silver. Next up, what'd you get there, bud? Oh, next up, we got this one right here. 
Another silver piece, just like this is boring right off the bat. It's just silver. It's got a good weight to it. 925. Cool. What else can we say? Nothing. Next up, another custom piece. This is just gifted to me by a company. This thing probably would cost like in silver, like maybe like 12 bucks, but it's custom engraved name brand. Got the Canadian flag upside down. It pisses people off because they're like, that means anti Canada. No, it just looks cooler hanging upside down than one sitting up. You know what I mean? That's better. I designed it. My choice, my rules. Get over it. <laughs> Please don't punch me for it. You know? No, I can't handle that. Now we're going quick. We're almost out of things. No, I'm just kidding. Um, next up was, wow, I thought I had a lot more. It looks like a lot more. These, this one right here is just a straight up gold tennis chain. You guys see me work, not tennis, you idiot. Uh, duh, what is this? Rope chain. The thing that looks like a rope. We have that straight up gold. It's cool. You guys see me rock that sometimes. The next one that I loved, got it at the same time. This one right here, this is a white gold rope chain. The dang thing's thick, but I snapped it. I don't know what to do, bro. I don't know like if I can fix it. I probably could, but i just break it. i break everything. Yeah, I think I, I can't remember the story of how I broke that. I had my boys over. I think we were watching sports or something, and I got real mad, and I went to like rip my shirt. I was like, no! Kind of like a joking thing, but I grabbed the necklace, and I just snapped it. That sucked, because this one was really cool. That's got a nice shine to it. Uh, this jewelry collection is going to get a little better over time, hopefully. <laughs> it's now pathetic now that I look at it. So like we're already halfway through. Next up, this is one of my favorite pieces right now. You guys actually see me wear a lot. This is a gold, I don't know, Cuban-ish chain. It's cool. I like it a lot. Now, one thing you guys can see, there's like diamonds on it. They're really low key. Those diamonds actually aren't real. Um, I don't really care though. It's so small. It's not like it's a whole blingy thing. Nobody really sees them anyway. You guys know I try not to flex faith stuff and whatever, but they're so small. It's such a cool gold chain that I wear it anyway. I think it's actually one of my favorite pieces. I also had a silver one of this, but I think I lent it to someone. I'm really bad at that. Like, it's fine to lend things to people, but I always forget. Or I just forget I even lent it to them and don't get it back, which is fine. Hopefully it's at a good home. We had, oh God, this is gonna be a two minute video. <laughs> next up, what was my next piece? This is kind of the stuff you see a lot, but we'll show it in detail. This next piece right here, I got this one for 2200. I've been told a lot, I really overpaid. But I mean, as of right now, the money's gone, so I don't regret it whatsoever. It's got, you know, the all over gold and that we have uh, actual really good quality diamonds. They're quite big on it. Actually, they look real nice in this lighting too. It's just like one of those rings right when I got it, bro. I was so stoked. It's like, man, this is awesome. Then I lost it for a year and I freaking found it again. So that's sweet. Um, my next piece after my biggest mistake of my life was this Gucci watch right here. You guys always see me wear. It's got cool diamonds on the front. Actually, what you guys don't see, it's uh, got diamonds in there too, bro. You still can't see it even when you look in your eye. It just looks like it's perforated metal with no diamonds in it. I paid, I think it was close to 10 grand for this thing. I'm embarrassed to say it. I can't even remember. I've said it in videos before. So go check in the video where I unboxed it. I just, I've got put it out in my brain. I mean, it's Gucci, it's cool, but it's bad. It's a bad decision. A lot of these things I overpaid for, including this next item we got. Now this one, oh, this one was 1200 a little bit cheaper, but this one is still out gold. It's still got the diamonds on it, but if you guys can see, it just looks like crap. Some diamonds like look good, some listen, some don't. We got the baguette style on the inside there that don't shine at all. They never have. <laughs> It, it looks like, what's that glass that you can't see through? That stuff. It looks like that kind of glass that you can't even see through. So there's my next piece. We're going real quick. Welcome to my jewelry collection. <laughs> All right, I just took a breather to think about if this video is actually a good idea. If you guys want to be impressed, we still unboxed or we showed off this amount of jewelry so far. So just know, I guess we're going fast. We have shown off quite a few things. I am trying to make this better than it is. Next up, this one's real cool. Um, it, A lot of people are like, oh man, that one sucks because there's not many diamonds. I just really like how it's custom name brand. I love two finger rings. I used to have them back like eight years ago. It was fake gold, obviously, but I always love two finger rings and the look of them. This one doesn't glisten too much. I gotta clean it. It's got 50 diamonds in it. And then uh, where there aren't diamonds, it's like diamond cut gold. So diamond cut white gold. So I don't know. It's cool. I got this one. It was $1,200 on the website being custom made and stuff like that. But we worked something out for the video and I got it for like 600 bucks half price. So I was like, no big deal, man. Gotta get that. Still one of my favorite pieces. Two finger ring, dope. Next up, uh, this is one we just bought and uh, that's not in order anymore. Whatever, screw it. This one right here, we have this little Cuban ring that has now, since I bought it, lost four diamonds. So that's great. Uh, it's diamonds all around it. We got the gold. It, it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> don't know how I lose diamonds in my things. Horrible quality apparently, but yeah, that one right there, uh, 
Cool piece. I don't know, I just, uh, I wanted something to really finish off my setup of these rings right here. This is generally how I wear it, and uh, my hand was looking a little plain right here, so I thought that looked a little bit better. Next up, and last up, we have my grills. Now, lately we have been purchasing these. I've just gotten to really like them. It's kind of a cheap alternative to buying things with diamonds on them. You know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of space to have diamonds on, especially if you're not getting a full grill like I did. So it's, uh, I mean, it's still expensive. We have the, the, the gold or I think this is silver actually with the uh, diamonds along it right here. I just really like how that looks. It goes right on like that. Super low key. You really, really can't see it too, too much, which is fine. Uh, actually, it wasn't fine because I had to buy another one. I'm like, I can't see enough on this, bro. Now this one's hiding back here and I've spent too much money on a diamond you can't damn see. It. So then, I won't wear these together, but I haven't showed you actually how they look together. I bought the next one right here. Same sort of thing, but different placement on my teeth this time. Oh God. This one we just unboxed. It actually comes up a little farther right there. So if I wear them together, it just looks ridiculous. It looks like I broke my grill in half. I lost three and now I gotta wear them like this. So now I only wear one at a time. Sometimes like maybe if I'm going like somewhere like kind of classy, I'll probably wear like this if I really want to wear something. Or if I'm like really trying to flex, you know there's gonna be babes there. Shut up my girlfriend and you gotta wear this. You know what I mean? It's the setup. And last but not least, ah, every time I take those out, I feel like I'm pulling out my freaking tooth. One day that sucker's gonna pop out and I'm gonna freak. I can't handle it, bro. I can't handle it. Last up with the collection, boys. It's been fast. I hope it's been fast. I hate when people go over the top with their stuff. The next one, the last one, we actually got gifted when we bought this. Buddy still hooked it up. Shout out um, uh, Empire Jewelers. We have this full bottom grill set right here. I haven't worn it yet. I'm going to. It's just like, I'm mad confident with wearing anything. This one though, I like, I'm confident with wearing it, but I don't want to look too much of a douche. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a little flashy. Like I really gotta pick the time and the place. How do I get it off? Man, you better snug fit this, huh? I gotta cut it open like a cast. Okay, here we go. But it looks real sick. This is probably one of my favorite pieces to date right now. It just shines real nice. I gotta keep this thing clean. Um, and it covers like the right amount of my teeth. I talk with my bottom teeth. You can't see any really more beyond there when I talk. So this one's really cool. I still got to break it out at one point. But uh, there's my jewelry collection, boys. I like doing updates every once in a while so we can look back and see how far we've come. You know, uh, next year we'll probably have a lot more stuff. And I actually, I think I'm about to drop way too much money on a custom name brand diamond pendant. It's in the works. I still got to convince my girlfriend that's a good idea because I still got to buy my car. Whatever. If that comes, to come. it'll come. It'll come. I just probably won't tell her about it. Anyway, don't do that. Name brand fam's real strong. Merc in the game, the greatest of all time. What was your favorite piece? What was your least favorite piece? Scale of one to 10, what do you think about this collection? Maybe four. You know what I mean? Let's be. Let's be a little nice on this one. T probably nine. Bye.